Angelica Eradgeras! And you're ours! Can't raise the sail yet. Take the mast down. Sink it again! Raise the mast! Yeah! We can raise the sail in these waters. Run up the sail! Sink it!
Guards here are vigilant. Best praise my hood here.
best not to draw attention here. If they see me, this will get messy. Came. 
He was terrified. Believed himself cursed after killing a she-wolf in her cup. I'm here, old man. Tell me your tale. Three young men came to me not long ago. Braggarts, full of drink and sin. Death had claimed a friend of theirs. So they set out to find Death and teach him a lesson. That is foolish. We Norse do not seek to control Death. We embrace it. I. But rudely they demanded of me, tell us where to find death. You are old. You must know him. Look no further, said I. He is under the great oak in the forest behind me. And that is where they went. A strange tale. And one that lingers like a terrible dream. Is this the great oak the old man spoke of? Death. So this is what the old man meant. But what happened here? Strangled. That is no bandit's work. Killed by poison. No sign of a struggle. He must have taken it unknowingly. By his pallor, I would say poison took this one's life. What was he reaching for, I wonder? Silver. No doubt this played some part in this sorry scene. Food and ale. But why make a camp here if they were searching for death, as the old man said? found hidden treasure beneath the tree. They made camp. Two of them turned on the third. He was one step ahead of them, and had already poisoned their ale. So the glass of silver drove these greedy fools to murder. It seems they found death after all. Or death found them.
Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? That preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere, and as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland, a heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True, but unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassam says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. Where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. 
before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstone.
Itaque mutorumque Christi Fidelium Explentes, qui sinistra tristis terram atque. Sunset with force. Oh. 